hey guys welcome back to my channel and welcome back to another video in this portion of the video i'm just spray painting the letters that i previously got from an etsy shop i will link that down below in the description bar if you guys are interested and i'm just using a coral spray paint that i got from michael's just to kind of coat the wood letters so this is the grass panels that I'm going to be using in today's video. I got this from Amazon and I believe it was like a hundred bucks and I did get the one that was already used. So I got it for a little cheaper than a hundred bucks. But this is the size that they come in. This is a 10 by 10 and I believe it comes with 12 panels in the entire box. But we ended up using six. So now we're just going to attach the panels that we've got with the zip ties that I showed in the previous clip. I got those zip ties from Michaels as well. They come in two different sizes and after um, I ended up attaching the panels, I cut the excess zip tie off so it wouldn't scratch the wall or anything. And I didn't show that in the, in the video, but I just wanted to add that little tip, guys. Make sure you cut the excess zip tie off. So here are the flowers that I chose for my wall art. You could choose any flower that you like, any color scheme that you want, and that's what makes it so beautiful is because you can kind of customize this to fit any space that you want. We were going for a orange and pink kind of vibe. So I got these flowers from Michaels. Um, they were $3.99 and I bought three bundles of them I believe I'm trying to remember I think it was like three of them that I bought of each of these flowers and so these were also at Michael's and they were $2.99 they were really inexpensive I got all of these flowers that I'm going to be showing you guys here under $40 and so I also use my coupon at Michael's that you could pull up on you know your phone so I got these flowers and please forgive me guys, I have no clue what the name of these are, but I'm just getting different types of flowers to add, you know, a different type of texture to my wall art. And so make sure you do that. Don't just get all flowers, get other fillers and everything else to make the um, actual wall art look cool. I got these vines here from Amazon. They were actually $7.99, which is really good for the amount of flowers I got. That thing was so cool. And also I got this one from Hobby Lobby as well, but they were 50% off of $17.99. <laughs> okay, that was a win, girl, okay. So at this point, you can kind of put your own twist on things. You could put your taste into it to fit whatever space that you're going to be decorating. On here, I'm just kind of laying out the flowers how I wanna see them before I actually secure them with the zip ties. And you want to make sure you do that because if you end up not liking it, you don't want to have to go behind your grass wall and cut the zip ties off so that you can start over. So I would suggest that you kind of lay it out and see how it looks first and then go back and secure it. I use four bundles of each flower that I showed you in the previous clip to make this wall art kind of full. But as you can see, I've only done one side. So if you were to do the whole grass wall, you would definitely need more flowers.
I wanted to add that you do need to separate the flowers from the actual bunches that they come in in order to be able to decorate your wall art. Make sure you use a wire cutter because without it, the job is going to be a very difficult. So just invest in the wire cutter. It's not expensive at all, maybe like five bucks. And it saves you so much time and it gives you a cleaner look. have a feel for how I want the flowers to look on the grass wall so I'm just starting to secure the flowers you know little by little and honestly this part was very trying okay it tried my whole spirit and my mind and my body because it was really hard trying to find the zip tie through all the flowers and the grass wall and so it was just a whole lot so I would recommend you guys, instead of doing the zip ties to secure the flowers to the grass wall, I would just use hot glue. Still use the zip ties to secure the vines, but the, the flowers use glue, okay? Just skip all that. So this is the result of the wall art after I finish securing all the flowers and hanging it up on the wall. I used a heavy duty stapler and I used maybe about seven to eight staples to get it on the wall. And I love it so much. My letters are a little crooked, but you know, I could work on that. If you guys enjoyed this content, please make sure to like the video. It does help YouTube's algorithm to see that you guys are interested in this content. Until then, I hope to see you in my next video.